I'm Mike Lamb, uh, and I'm a faculty member at James Madison University. Software is widely used in science and engineering disciplines, but developing accurate and reliable scientific software is notoriously difficult. One of the most serious difficulties comes from using floating point arithmetic, where roundoff errors occur and accumulate, and where compiler optimizations and low precision can significantly affect computational results. With accelerators dominating high-performance computing systems, programmers are also faced with the ever-growing challenges of ensuring numerical reproducibility. This tutorial will demonstrate tools that are available today to analyze floating point scientific software. We focus on tools that allow programmers to gain insights about how floating point arithmetic affects their code and how to fix potential bugs. Hello, I'm Ignacio Laguna. I'm a computer scientist at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. And I'm Harshita Menon. I'm also a computer scientist at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. In this tutorial, we will present a number of tools that we have developed at the lab in collaboration with the University of Utah. Some of these tools include Archer, a tool for the detection of OpenMP data races, RemP, a tool for scalable record and replay in MPI programs, and Fleet, a tool for the analysis and testing of compiler-induced variability. We will also demonstrate FPChecker, a tool for detecting floating-point errors in GPUs, and ADAPT, a library that uses algorithmic differentiation to study the impact of errors in variables on the final output. Finally, we'll demonstrate tools that will help you automatically build mixed precision versions of your software, including uh, tools such as Pressimonious and HiFP Tuner, which operate at the LLVM IR level, and Floatsmith, which integrates several existing tools and operates at the source level. This will be a very hands-on tutorial with several exercises that you'll run for each tool. In addition, many of the tool authors will be there uh, to answer questions and present their tool. Our goal is to present tools that you can use today to analyze your numerical software. For more information, go to our tutorial website, fpanalysistools.org, and we hope to see you at the tutorial.